What's up, motherfuckers? I'm back with another video. I'm just playing, y'all. This is my first video. <laughs> anyway, I'm fitting to tell y'all a story. I'm a little high right now, so if I fuck up, I apologize. I'm trying my best. This is my first video, so give me a break. All right? <laughs> anyway. All right. All right. This shit's so new that I don't even know what I'm going to name this shit yet, to be completely honest with y'all. I have no fucking clue at all. Anyway, though, it, by it, y'all read the title, bro. It's about fucking taking dabs and shit and getting way too high and humiliating myself and ruining my 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 life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing it ain't that extreme. But yeah, it, it was a pretty fucked up day to be honest. Anyway, all right. So day starts off. I get up. Pretty normal day to be honest. First period goes by. To be honest, before school, I never really smoked a lot before school. It was mostly an after school thing for me in high school. Like all the way through high school, I never really smoked before class. But so I just, I figured I'd tell you that real quick. Anyway, so first period goes by, nothing really happening. Second period goes by, nothing, boring. Third period comes along. All right, I'm going to have to change some names there. I'm going to call this dude Roger, all right? So fucking Roger has this fucking dab cart, right? Keep in mind, this is like 20, 2019. This is at like the peak of when dab carts were full of fucking dick juice and fentanyl, y'all know? So that's part of the reason why I think this ends so badly, but I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Anyway. So I see this dude, he gets up twice to go to the bathroom during this class. Goes, takes like 10 minutes both time to get back, dude. I school didn't really give a fuck, they let you just go. So anyway, second time he comes back, me and this dude's kind of cool a little bit. I ain't really talked to him since, but anyway, he looks at me and he's like, yo, he's like, I got a dab cord on me. I, I really don't remember what the fuck he said, but it was something to the extent of I got a dab cord. Do you want to go to the bathroom and hit it? At the time... I had started dating my girlfriend like a year ago. So I hadn't smoked in like a year. Because she was all up on my ass about smoking. Now I smoke. But now she don't get Now she smokes actually. But at the time she was a good fucking Catholic girl. So you know I quit for her for a while. But anyway this was the first day I smoked in like a year. And it was one of these Fenty fucking bullshit carts. So this dude hands me the thing. Of course, you know, my fucking stupid ass in school. I'm like, yeah, bro, let me hit it. So I grab it. It's on a box mod. It's a cart screwed into the top of a box mod. You know how they got that, like, it just it looks dumb because it's like the skinny little cart on top of the box mod, you know? So anyway, I take that shit, put it in my pocket. And I'm like, all right. All right, Roger, I'll be back in a minute. So I leave. I go walk down the hall, bro. I get to the bathroom. I had to walk in. I walk in. There's some dude in there I kind of know. I don't really give a fuck about him. I ain't that worried about him. Dude's washing his hands or whatever. He leaves. I'm like, all right, cool. The bathroom's empty. When I tell you that I ripped this fucking cart, probably, probably like seven times until it like dead it. Like it was, it was honestly... To be honest, I don't think I've ever hit a court before this, to be completely honest with you. So I didn't understand, one, the power, two, that this was probably a bullshit hot dog water cart, and three, that, I, I don't know, I was just a dumbass in school. So anyway, bro, I hit this shit as hard as I got to this bitch blinks. Box mod blink, alright? So I hit that bitch, and to be honest, I don't really feel shit. Like, I don't know, it was like a delayed fucking reaction for some reason. Because normally, dude, you hit a cart seven times with no tolerance, you're going to be feeling something immediately. But anyway, so I ripped that shit. I'm like, all right, I'm going back to class. <laughs> so I leave. I walk out the bathroom, all right? I actually passed that fucking police officer. I ain't going to say his name, though, because then y'all probably, somebody will fucking know who the fuck I am. But, so, I walked past this little school police officer. He was an asshole. Everybody hated him. But, so I get back to class, right? I walk in. As soon, as soon as I open the door to walk into this dude's class. Like, Jesus. Fucking, not Jesus. Fucking Zeus zapped me with lightning, right? Dude, it was so fucking retarded. I go to walk into the, into the class, dude. 
and my whole vision just goes from perfectly normal, not even feeling high, to just like the just blurry bullshit, right? So I'm like, oh fuck, and immediately, immediately I get the spins. Immediately. So I walk in. This dude had me pushed against a wall because I was a talking class. I was kind of, I wasn't bad, but I just, I talked too much. So teachers would put me in the corner of classrooms. <laughs> so I walked to the little corner of my classroom. I get the dude his box my back on the way back to it because I had to walk past him going down the road. So I get to the back. I sit down, dude, and I'm immediately, like, I know. I'm like, dude, I'm sick. Like, it's bad. I'm sitting there, dude. And they had this other little dude. I, I'm going to have to change his name, too. I'm going to call him Connor. All right? So this other dude, Connor, sitting there. And he looks at me. And he's like, bro, are you all right? And, I, you know, I'm trying to play it off. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, bro. I'm fine. He looks at me. He's like, dude, you green. <laughs> he's like, your skin is green, Nick. He's like, you sure you're okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Bro, I felt so fucked up. I was so high at one point in that class, dude, that I was just seeing white lines. Just, have y'all ever been that high? Let me know in the comments, dog. Have y'all ever been so high that you're just seeing lines? That is, that's some bullshit, dude. That is some fuckery right there. So, that was like, I hit that cart probably at the beginning of class, to be honest. And I sat in that class nauseous as hell. Nauseous as hell. For the whole class period, like 45 minutes or whatever it was. So eventually the bell rings. I get up. I'm like, all right, got to make my way to my next class. The only problem is my good little Catholic girlfriend is going to try to intercept me on my way to my next class and come talk to me. I am in no state to talk to this woman right now. I'm like, I'm on the verge of just fucking disaster at this point, all right? So I'm walking. I get right to my class, bro, and she comes peeking around the corner. And she's like, oh, hey. I'm like, hey, <laughs> she's like, she's immediately, immediately. She's like, are you okay? You don't look so good. And I was like, oh yeah, I think, I think I told her that like I was sleeping in my last class or something. And I said, I woke up and I wasn't feeling good. Or something. I don't know. I told her some excuse. And so she was like, oh, okay. You know, she's Catholic. She had never even been around someone. She never even smelled weed smoke before. So she didn't even know what high looked like. So I could just play it off that I was fucked up as shit. Not fucked up as shit, but sick as fuck. But really, I was fucked up as shit. So anyway, I walk into my next class. The problem is, dog, this class is fucking... Oh, what the fuck was it? It was first responder, dude. First responder. The lady was an EMT. Is that what they call it? The ambulance people. This lady was an ambulance lady, bro. So, like, she knows what people looks like real fucked up. And so, bro, I'm sitting there... And I'm trying to hold it in, bro. I'm nauseous. People are looking at me. They had this girl on the side of me. She was like, you okay? You don't look... I was like, I'm fine. I don't even want to talk to you. <laughs> like, I'm fine. Luckily, the girl that sat right next to me, because we were separated two per table, the girl that sat right next to me, she was my friend. But she wasn't there that day. I'm glad she wasn't there that day, because this shit was disgusting. What's about to happen? Bro. I've never... First off, I've never thrown up at school. Ever. I prided myself on that. I had never thrown up at school. Ever. Second off, I had never thrown up because of weed before. Before this. And I've never thrown up after. After, like, just just from weed before after this, neither. But, bro, I was sitting there, and it was getting bad, bro. It was getting bad. I knew I was about to throw up. Like, I knew it. And so I raise my hand, and I look at the lady. And as soon as she looks at me with my hand raised, she's like... You don't look so good. And I was like, I know. I raised my hand because I needed water. Like, bad. Because, like, I'm not throwing up. So I raised my hand. I'm like, can I please have some water? Plus, I'm hot because of the dabs, you know? Well, I'm like, can I please have some water? And she's like, oh, you don't look so good. I'm like, I don't feel so good. (laughs) And so she runs off to this little side room that they keep, like, water and, like, the girls work out in there sometimes for, like, volleyball or whatever. But she had, like, some water stacked up in there. So she runs in there to go get one, dude. As soon as she runs in there, I I, I projectile vomited, dog. It was disgusting. It was honestly fucking disgusting. It was so bad. And I had drank chocolate milk, too. Could you imagine, dog? Could you imagine? It was, a, it, it was first responders, bro. It was nothing but girls in that class. 
That's so embarrassing. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. But anyway, so I did that. And immediately, they had this dude in front of me, right? And he was like, thank God for this dude, honestly, dude. He was sort of my friend, but he was an angel. I just, he came, bro, and he scooped me up and started carrying me preemptively, like, out of the room. Because, like, he realized I was too fucked up, I guess, to, like, stay, like, because I really wanted to get the fuck out at this point. Somehow, this dude guides me out the class, and he's like, hey, bro, you should call your people or whatever. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, for some reason, as we're walking, dude, a teacher passes, and she noticed how fucked up I look, and she made me go to the office. And so, I was like, all right. And so, I start going, and the dude's like, you good? I was like, I think so. And so I try to walk, dude, and I'm like, dude, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh my God. Have you ever been so high that you can't walk? That shit's retarded. But anyway, I get to the office, bro. And a fucking, they have the police officer in there. The one that I walked by after hitting the dab cart coming out of the bathroom, dude. And this dude sees me. And he thinks, like, I'm off some, like, I don't know. He thinks I'm off some pills or, like, some serious shit. So this dude pulls me aside. That's how fucked up I was, dude. Don't underestimate dab carts when you ain't got no fucking nothing, no tolerance at all. So this dude pulls me into his little cop office in the like off the little like one one door down from the office essentially. He pulls me in there and he starts fucking ask dude, I'm fucked up holding a trash can. And he's like, What did you take? And I was like, Bro, I didn't take nothing. I got I I just I'm sick. I'm like, I'm sick. And so he's like, I know you took something. You took some pills. What did you take? What kind of pills you took? And I was like, bro, I didn't. T- dude, this dude was an asshole, too. If I would have told him, bro, he probably would have tried to arrest me. Like, no shit. That's how big of an asshole this dude was. So, anyway, he walks out the room. And when he walks out the room, I texted my mom to come get me. And thank God for this lady, dude, my guardian angel, bro. This lady came through and came get me. It was fucking legendary. It was fucking legendary. She walks in. As soon as I see, I just pop up and I'm, I'm fucking going. I'm like, I'm out of here. And I, the cop was in the office somewhere, dude. I walk clean out with my mom out the front door. I get to the little SUV she got, bro, and I get in. And then she's just staring at me, dude. She's like, what did you take? And I was like, mama. I was like, I didn't take nothing. And she was like, Nicholas, I know you took something. What did you take? And I was like, I didn't, I didn't take nothing. I didn't want to tell her that I hit the dad car because my mom ain't really cool with that. And so I get home and I'm still sick as fuck. So I go into the bathroom to like put my head down on like the, the bathtub because like the cold feels good, you know. So I got my head on the tub, bro. And then my dad comes home for lunch. And this dude comes banging on the door like I'm some sort of fucking fentanyl fiend in there. And he's like, what are you doing? I was like, what? He was like, what did you take? And then he somehow opens the door. I don't know how he unlocked the door because the door was locked. But he comes in and he's looking at me and he's like, oh, what did he say? He said, oh, your palms are sweaty. And he's like, your eyes are dilated. What did you take? And so like at this point, I was like, all right, I can't keep going with the facade like I'm sick. Like it's so obvious I'm fucked up. My eyes are redder, redder than Satan's fucking cock. All right. Bro, I was like, all right, dad. I was like, I hit a dab cart. And I knew, I didn't want to tell him that because I knew he wouldn't understand what it even was. And so he was going to think of some drugs. And so I was like, it's a, it was a dab cart, dad. And he was like, he was like a dab cart. He's like, what's that? And I was like, it's like, it's like weed, but it's like liquid weed. <laughs> like, you know, it'd be hard to explain how to make dads like straight to your dad right there. Like as fucked up as I was. So I was like, it's like liquid weed. He was like, that, that don't exist. That's not a thing. I was like, yes, it does, dad. We live in the 21st century. And so he was like, eventually he just left. And so I was just sitting there fucking sad, cold, and lonely on the floor, dog. It was fucking terrible. It was a terrible time, to be honest. I don't recommend doing such shits as that. But, anyway, this is my first video, y'all. If y'all like it, leave a like. If y'all really like it, subscribe. Or don't subscribe. Leave me a dislike if you really like I don't really give a fuck. It's alright. I love y'all all the same. Alright, bruh. Well, anyway, I'm gonna head out. Peace.